All right, guys, welcome back. I'm out here with Tall Girl. How you mm -hmm. doing today? I'm doing all right. <laughs> that smile. Are you embarrassed right now? A mm, little nervous. But yeah, yeah, I feel you. I mean, once you get some stuff off your chest, you'll, you'll feel good. Um, so how old are you? I'm 22. Okay. Did you grow up here in Tucson? Yes. How was, <clears throat> how was life growing up for you? How's your childhood? Um, it was... It wasn't that bad, you know. Um, I grew up on the res to the age of 12. Um, you know, I, I went through CPS a lot. Uh, Mom was locked up, didn't really, wasn't really there. Dad never had one. Um, one of my aunties took care of us. It was like me my, and my siblings. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel you. Are you still in contact with your your siblings right now? Fa any family? Um, some of them, yeah. So as far as like today, um, like what's your situation right now? Um, honestly, it's just like I'm just. out here because I'm I'm not really ready to get my shit together you know um, is uh, addiction part of your life right now yes hey, what's your uh, what are you battling with right now um, uh, drugs the blues? Beans? Uh, yeah. That, um, I do smoke, um, G, but it's not, like, I don't really care for it as much as I do for the beans. It's not that I care, it's the fact that I don't want to have to go through getting sick and, you know, having to go through that type of pain. That's, like, the hardest part when having an addiction, you yeah. know? Yeah, when you're physically addicted to it. That was my life for so long. Yeah. I totally understand. And how did uh, addiction start for you? Mm. A family member just asked me if I wanted to try. You know, and said, yeah. So then after that, it was like, we chilled out more. The more we chilled, the more I smoked, you know? And then eventually it just got to a point where, like, it got so addicting that I had to, like, you know, go my own way of getting it with or without her, you know? And was it blues at the time? Or just... Yeah. Yeah, once they take over, they take over. Yeah. Right. It consumes you. Everything we do revolves around that. You know, that was my life. Man. I totally understand. You're not the only one, you know, and I know, I know you do that. There's so many people with you. Everyone seemed great that you were with. They seemed cool. Do you feel safe out here? Um, I wouldn't say out here necessarily, but like there are groups of people that I do feel safe with, you know? It's good. It's good. And how long have you been homeless? For about like three, four years now. What's the hardest part about that lifestyle? Um, other than having to find a shower or using the restroom when you want, where you want, um, I'd have to be able to say, having to see family or friends that you know or you see or like that want to tell you to come home or tell you to come home. I mean, you just like, you don't want to and it's like you hear it all the time from so many people you know always telling you yeah just trying to get you to come home but yeah they're not ready for what would happen if you know I mean, like if we were to come home because I'd be bringing my addiction with me you know yeah. and who knows what could happen I I pawned TVs did so many like 
petty crimes, caught a prison case for it just because I needed it, you know? What's the, uh, what is something you've done to, to get blues or something you needed that you're not proud of? Hmm, honestly, I have to say just boosting, you know, I don't, I just, boosting a lot, it's not something I do, or like, I would thought I would be doing, I guess you could say. Yeah. It's just, that's what comes with the lifestyle. Yeah, you know? not having to support your own habit and shit. So that's the hardest part. What do you like the most about this lifestyle, if anything? Um, definitely meeting new people. Yeah. The freedom. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of friendships. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Have you ever been to uh, rehab or anything yeah. like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long were you in there for? Um, the first time I ever went to rehab. <clears throat> I was there for four months, and then I finally came back on New Year's Day. Mm. It was, it started off all right, and then I don't know if, where it went wrong, but somewhere down the line, one of the workers ended up drinking, and then got, clients started to drink, and then, um, ended up leaving somehow and then moving to another rehab and same thing happened eventually and then finally decided to come back so the rehab worker um brought alcohol is that what you said yeah okay the people start drinking yeah i've heard some crazy stuff like that happen too been to mm -hmm. detox so many times rehab so i understand So, what, what is a like a full day for you when you wake up? Like, how do you feel physically, like before you smoke? I'm sure exhausted. You know, like tired of having to do something or something you, you don't really want to, knowing you got to. Like, just the thought of having to wake up in general. You know, get up and do something. So, like in that mind frame, you wake up, feel like crap, like what do you do from there the rest of the day? I think you just mop around, see what you could do to get what you need, you know? Oh. You know? So what are you thinking about right now? I see the wheels spinning. Mm -hmm. And I'm just... I've actually really put thought into it, I guess. Yeah, that's why I like doing these because a lot of people really don't think about their situation. Like, they think about it briefly, but never really put any thought into it and then voice it. Yeah. Uh, so it's pretty good. I mean, I've, I've heard a lot of people say they feel good after the videos just because they got some stuff off and then uh, then they go about their day. One lady called me for a ride to detox and I picked her up, took her. Mm -hmm. So I love doing stuff like that. You know? And physically, you look good. You know, I, like if I were to see you at Circle K, I never would have thought that you'd be out here. You know? Have you seen a lot of people in rough shape? Like physical condition? Yeah, I have actually. It's wild. What type of uh, dangers are there out here? What type of what? Uh, dangers out here. Like what kind of things do you go through or experience? Mm. Honestly, I would have to say just like Having to watch your back 24-7, you know? You never know who you're gonna run into or what's gonna happen. 
a lot of things can always go wrong, you know? Yeah. So there's just like everything in general, 24-7. Yeah. What's the, um, just two more questions. Give us a, a crazy story um, about something you've experienced or, or seen out here. Finish off with that. Uh, a crazy story is that happened or that I've seen out here. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> um. Honestly, I'd have to say I was staying on Irvington at one point and um, someone I know had problems with another person and this person somehow for some reason decided to show up at the spot we'd be chilling at you know he had his his weapon ready and he came and he started tripping over to the other homies and from there just things went wrong you know they started um, running a fade and then eventually he he let off a couple shots at them unfortunately he missed I mean not unfortunately he missed like um it's unfortunate that he that, you know that he had to do that yeah whatever but um and then the the, the main homie he came he he started um you know shooting back you know helping protecting and um Eventually, it got to a point where, like, one of the one of the one of the dudes were hurt and bleeding and whatever, and ran off, ended up running off, and everyone who was around at that time was like, mm, "I'm not, um, I can't say I was scared because you know that type of stuff happens on a, I'm not gonna say daily, but like happens quite a while." Quite often. Yeah, quite often. Yeah. But um, everyone was in deep shock because, you know, no one was expecting it. You know, everyone was just doing what they normally do, you know? Something crazy like that happened, so. Just happened so fast. Yeah. Out of nowhere, just random. Yeah, and the majority of the time, no one knows what to do or how to react. Stuff like that. I'm glad you made it out of that. Do you stay uh, like in a tent or just crash out wherever or camp or something? Mm, no, normally what I do is I go stay up for as long as I can, mobbing around, um, chilling with different people, different places, you know? And then when my body gets to that point where like it's telling me to lay down let your body rest whatever and get some sleep i normally go to like my cousin's house for like a day or a night and just sleep until i wake up yeah there i shower or eat you know whatever i can to just let my body just regenerate i guess yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'm glad you have a safe place to go if you need to you know? yeah um Last question. Um, Thank you. You too, Mom. Have you, last question, have you thought of like a way out or future at all? Mm, honestly, like, it's always been something that I and a few of my family, a few of my siblings have always talked about. And, you know, um, we always told each other that there were there will be one of those days where we will get clean or, you know, we will go home and be ready, you know, yeah. to give up this type of lifestyle. And this type of lifestyle ain't, like, nothing for anyone. But as far as the plans of it going, like, we really don't put much thought into it until... We know we're 100% ready to 
to get better. Yep. Yep. And lastly, if any family or friends see this video or people that know you, do you want to say anything to them? Um, if you see me, mm. say hi, don't be scared, you know. Definitely do not judge anyone around me. You know, everyone's different, whatever, you know. Show respect, give respect. I mean, show respect, give, get respect, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, you know, just know I love every single one of my family members and friends, you know, that do know me, whatever. And it's all good, you know. If you want to ask something, go ahead and ask, you know. You'll, you'll get through this. You know? Oh, yeah. I you'll know get, I will. This is, just let this be a phase. Like you said, we just have to get through what we have to get through. Hopefully, we'll be ready one day. And if you fall down again, just get back up. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm glad you, you know a lot about, like, the resources and rehabs and all that. You seem like you know how to stay safe. So, that's good. That's good. Um, well, thank you for your story. Very nice meeting you. Thank you.